So the UDO guidelines, I have this handy UDO guidelines mouse pad, but the UDO guidelines, one of the guidelines for engagement reminds us to provide mastery oriented feedback. And whether you're an administrator or a teacher, the best way to model this is to ask for feedback from your students. And so one thing I do often when I'm providing professional development is I'll go and I'll ask teachers at the beginning, you know, after you've seen me for about 20, 30 minutes, I want you to think that there's a little angel on one shoulder and that angel's saying, oh my gosh, she's the best presenter I've ever seen. She's so funny. I love her. And then on the other shoulder, there's like a little devil. And, and he's saying she's the worst presenter I've ever seen. And oh my gosh, is she annoying? And so I asked them to imagine that, you know, to practice integrative thinking and then to say, if someone were to be the devil on my shoulder, why would they not like my presentation style? And, you know, everybody's always a little bit uncomfortable, but I say, you know what? It's, it's, seriously fine. Just think about like there's things about me that I know are going to be true. And the same things come up all the time. You know, spoiler alert, I talk kind of fast. I'm a little hyper. My transitions are quick. And so I just want people to be comfortable giving me feedback. And so I'll have everybody write it on a post-it and then turn it up to me. And I kind of thematically code them and show that even though it's a silly exercise and they might not mean it personally, it actually can help me to become a better presenter when they give me tips about how to slow down and how to be more clear about transitions. And so I have a really funny story that happened once where I was presenting in California and I was in Santa Barbara and I asked the group of, of teachers to just write, what could somebody say about me? And I was reading out the post-its kind of like Jimmy Kimmel mean tweet style and it was all in good fun, you know, saying, oh, she talks really fast. And then I got one of them and I, when I read it out loud, the audience gasped. It was like, oh, horrible. And, um, what it said was, she kind of reminds me of a ferret on crack. And so it was the audience. So this one woman was like, oh my gosh, I said that, but I didn't mean it. You said it was part of the, the activity. And I said, no, of course not. I love it. And I went home and my husband's like, that's actually a, an amazing simile to describe you. But what I ended up doing is it, it lightened the mood. And I said, okay, so I've heard that. And you see that I didn't react to that. And that was a, a funny activity. But what I want you to know now is that you can tell me anything that you can give me feedback, that you can say, you know, it would be really good if you slow down or have you considered giving us that instead? And it changes the culture immediately. And so the next time you're in your class or you're in a PD session, consider asking, what could somebody give me for advice? And hopefully you don't get the, uh, the old ferret comment, but it's a great way to model the effective use of feedback and how when someone tells you something, it's really great to reflect on that and improve your practice.